M0FXP, welcome to my channel, ARDV10 firmware. The one I've got is running older firmware, 2204A. I'm just going to update it to 2205A. I don't see that there's a massive change, but anyway, we're going to go to here and we're going to click firmware download here. And you'll see the, uh, the, the download page, sorry, my radio is right in the middle. But on the right hand side, you can see it says download 590KB zip. The changes are optimized power consumption for new board revisions. Revisions are required whenever discontinued components are replaced. No change in official receiver specifications. The firmware supports all board versions until now. Bug fixes, fixed shortcut keys, registration in the system CSV backup file, erratic behavior in offset and optional cost pass only, fixed incorrect hex format. So yeah, I don't really understand any of that. Uh, previously to that, you added the new, no, there was an error there with the GSI function, which is to do with Tetra. So the big change I would say was 2.0 when they added here it is here, 2101A. That was the big change with adding Tetra ETC. I don't really need to do this, but I'm going to do it anywhere. So we click download here. We agree to the terms, and if it doesn't download straight away, then once you've got this zip file up here, I'm on the right, click it and just extract it somewhere. You're going to find it. You can see that the file you want is 2205A. Get the SD card out of your radio, which is on the left hand side here, put it down, put your thumb in there and then, you know, take it out. Obviously, I recommend you turn the radio off before you do that. So we turn it off, push, then take it out. Mine's, you do want a fully charged battery here, really. And with the SD card in the device, go to your little file at the bottom here and look for your USB connector. Oh. USB drive, should I say. Click it, and mine has already got some items on there. There's the old firmware there. I was going to delete that. Delete, and yes, and I'm going to drag in there. I'm going to right click my downloads. There's one, or you could put it into a file like I did as well. Double click it. Go to that 2205 file. Bring it down here and then the, the, the top one here is my USB drive. You can see that. Just click it and drag it in. And there it is there. Now we can safely eject by going right click, uh, eject. Okay, now we're gonna grab the SD card, put it into my device. Now we need to get this the right way round. Yeah, so I would say it faces towards you, the gold part towards you, okay? Like so, put it in, it's turned off. It will click into place. Like so, now turn the device back on. Mine's charging. Like I said, you want a full battery, you don't want to interrupt anything when you're doing this. Go menu, then go push the right arrow until you get to comp. Then go enter, then just keep pressing the right arrow, let it go all the way down until eventually you're going to see, it's quite a long way down, uh, you'll see the firmware version you've got is 2104A there on number 7. But if you go to update, press enter, and it will find the file which hopefully says 2205A, then press enter. Reading card. Do not power off, that's the crucial thing. And that's your firmware done. It's nice to have the latest version, isn't it? And it should just reboot, reboot and be back to normal. I'll leave it live. I mean, it's a fascinating device. It receives C4FM, DMR, D-Star. I've got, I'm gonna set up three hotspots in a minute and I'll be able to just add my local digital repeaters. I'll be able to just listen without having to change around hotspots or anything like that. And uh, and, uh, and it's just great fun. There's some other links on here. If you look, you've got a brochure, the full manual, firmware we just did, AOR Windows software. That's fascinating. If I right click that, 
open link in new tab and this is software that will read the SD card um, you are rebooting 22058 start I think I've got the contrast set quite bright quite high there haven't I give it a minute looking at these different links there you are it's back on let's turn it up nothing has changed it saved all my files turn the volume up I notice there's no volume slider on these you just go by you know the position let's try four three four dot five five zero enter that's my node and I can select mode press mode go back to FM enter if I can see if I get my node to log in 192 Let's see I got hubnet there H U B N E T connected to M0 F X B they sound really good but I've got quite a good speaker on these so thanks for watching my channel links in the description let's have a quick look at the firmware again let's go menu across the comp enter go down using the right arrow until you get to firmware look 2205a we've got the latest one thanks for watching my channel bye for now 73